Hello friends, welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica. We have been working on these Tinkercad circuit tutorials. You can Today we are introducing a new chip. It is the LM393, which is a dual comparator. So let's get started learning about what that dual comparator means. So today's project, we're gonna make a battery tester. All right, so we wanna know if I have some batteries, will they be good or not? And to do that, we are gonna compare it to a battery that I know is good. So let's take a look first at the 393 chip. So here is the dual comparator. There is actually another chip, if we look at comparators, that is the LM339, and this is the same chip, except for instead of having two spots to compare, you have four spots to compare, and we do have a really cool video with that that you should check out once you try this one. So let's take a little quick look around this LM393 chip. So here is our power in pin eight. Pin one is always the one that is by the little dot. So pin eight is our power. Pin four is our ground. That's very, very normal that you sort of have it going across like that. So here is pin one. It says output one. And now this is going to be low until something happens. So these guys are kind of like if statements. And so this guy is either low or high, and we'll use an LED to see if that's low or high today. Here is our input for one negative. So that is our inverting piece. It's just the one that you would say that if this is inverted, then I want to go high. So it should always be lower than the one plus, just like plus one should always be higher than minus one, you can think of it that way. But if minus one was for some reason higher than plus one, maybe we would want to know, right? And so these are the two things we're comparing. This is always your reference. So the input one plus is your reference and the input one negative is sort of the thing you are testing. And if that thing you are testing is better than your reference, then you can light up a light or you could put a high voltage out of output one. And if it's lower, then do nothing and you get nothing out. So this is actually the only ones that we're gonna need today. But if you want to compare another set of two things, you have that here. So we have output for a set two, and then the input of the negative of set two and the positive of set two. So you can compare a bunch of things with that. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we are going to want to power our circuit board. So let's get a battery. I am gonna use some one and a half volt batteries. A nine volt battery is just too much for this circuit. I can get away with four batteries on this circuit though. And I am going to then connect my positive over into my positive rails like that. And we'll change that to red. And my negative, which we will then change to black over into my negative rail just like that. If you are new to breadboards, I encourage you to check out some of our simple circuit projects that will really help you figure out how those work. I'm gonna connect these two rails because I know that my ground, it'll be easy if I can just put it here. So we'll connect our ground to ground and you can see how that loop goes because all these pins here are connected and then all these pins are connected and then here's our wire and all these pins are connected and there it goes into our battery. And then I'll do the same thing for my power. I'm gonna connect my power up into that power rail, making sure I change that color into red. All right, so we're gonna take our output and we're gonna connect it to an LED. And we're gonna have this LED so that it will light up when this thing that I'm testing is better equal to or better than the reference that I put in. All right, so we can come out of here and we can go into our LED. Let's change the color of this to, let's see, turquoise sounds like a pretty color. And this is gonna go into the short leg or the cathode, just like that. And then we'll go from the anode, which is the positive one, we'll go through a resistor and we'll go then into here. So we could actually just connect our resistor to high and then we can connect these two pieces right here, just like that. And let's change the color of that because it's on a different side. Maybe we'll go pink for that one. This resistor is fine as a stock one kilo ohm. We just want to protect that LED. All right. 
Okay, so now we want to compare a couple of things. I'm gonna move this up a little. We're gonna compare some batteries and my reference battery will have it as two batteries. And because we have so many battery packs in here, I'm actually gonna use my little annotations and I'm gonna put a little note here. This is my power supply right here. And I'm gonna put another one as this is my reference battery. Or we could also think of it as like a good battery. So this is a good battery. Any, any battery that is gonna be good needs to be sort of this size, which is three volts right here. All right, so I'm gonna take my good battery, I'm gonna connect the ground to ground. And I'll color that black. And then the positive lead is gonna go into my input right here. So I'm actually going to connect over to here just so it can look a little prettier. And we'll connect that to positive. And let's color both of these their own color. So let's make those yellow. Just like that. All right, now I have my battery that I need to test. And so let's get an annotation from up here and we'll call this the battery to test. Just like that. And we'll put that right there. And again, I'm going to plug my negative in to ground. We'll color that black. And then that one is gonna come into here. So the positive of this one will come in to my other input that I wanna compare. Let's see, what color should we do? Let's do purple. And that one is gonna go straight to my positive, just like that. So now the idea is, if this one is bigger than this one, so if one and a half volts is bigger than three volts, then my LED is gonna go on. Now my voltage comparator is really smart. It's like, no, dude, one and a half is smaller than three, so you don't get an output, and then our LED will be off. We will be able to change the size of this, the count of our battery, so we can go up to three, or four and a half, or six, and we can change the size of this as we see it. Now normally, you would maybe wanna test just one AA battery, but in this program, we can't change it to like 1.2 volts, and like you can't have a battery that's half dead. So like maybe your battery that's been used would maybe be 1.2 volts and then you'd have a 1.5 as a reference and it would say, nope, this is a bad battery. But we can't have anything less than 1.5. So you're always gonna be equal, which is why we've got this good battery as bigger than usual. All right, so we can hit start. Nothing happens here, but that makes sense because we decided that 1.5 wasn't bigger than three. But what if I change this to three batteries? Now, my voltage comparator says, oh yeah, no, look at that. Your tested battery is actually, yeah, it's bigger than the reference. And now we'll turn on, we'll put that output on up and you can see that happening with that LED right there. And that is our really simple voltage comparator. Again, if we hit the start simulation and we make our battery dwindle down and get smaller, at some point it's gonna turn off because that comparator recognizes, hey, that's not working as well as we'd like. And that is how these voltage comparators work. We have some other really cool projects with voltage comparators for you to check out. One of them is making a touch program that will, as you touch it, we'll have like a pretend human switch touch and it will turn on an LED, so a touch switch. And another one that we'll make is checking out how to take a dial and put LEDs that go on and off, which will be really fun. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you next time.